Hello everyone, Irish Donna Tarot, Donna Wilder Heart. We're going to do a pick a card reading for the fun of it, for the collective. This is usually a very fun um, way to read cards. So you get to pick deck number one. And deck number one I'm calling the aperitif. Deck number two is the ivy teacup. Right. Deck number three is a beautiful exotic box from North Africa, which I bought at a flea market in Amsterdam. And deck number four is my beautiful little flower. All right, so the flower, the exotic box, the ivy teacup, or the aperitif. What is your pick? Do, 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 do. I don't have any music in the background, but I'll give you a moment. Meditate, close your eyes. All right, we're going to get started with deck number one. So this is a love reading, and this is about any sort of love relationship that you are thinking, whatever you're coming to the reading with, whether it's reconciliation, but these are the intentions. What are the intentions of a person in your love life? So let's take a look and see what your person of interest is intending or a new person coming in is intending. All right. So it shows that a change is in the wind. Ooh, I love that. Look at how beautiful. What a beautiful, what a beautiful change that is, right? Who wouldn't welcome that in their backyard? That's beautiful. A zebra, something very exotic is coming in. A change is in the wind. I mean, that is just a beautiful piece of uh, like a birdhouse on a zebra back. Wow. All right. So the energy is just stunning. All right. The high priestess, you know intuitively who this is. You absolutely know who this is. From For those of you who picked deck number one, the aperitif, you know who this person is. All right. Your intuition is right there. Well, and here he is. The King of Discs is a King of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles is Taurus energy, but it can be any Earth sign energy. It can be a Virgo. It can be Capricorn. Uh, this energy is, this is a man who's very, loves the outdoors. He loves nature. He's very methodical. He doesn't expect to click his fingers or snap his fingers and happen overnight. He's a person who understands that you have to plant a seed to take a harvest. He's a person who is passionate. He's very comfortable in his own skin. He is someone who wants stability. Earth signs always want stability. And he loves a luxury. All right. Ooh, and look at this. We have the Ten of Pentacles. That is a marriage card, so that's the intention. So if you have a Knight or a King of Pentacles, excuse me, King of Pentacles in your life that you haven't heard from for a while, maybe even up to two months, he's been very quiet, it shows that he is coming back in with an offer of an abundant relationship and a commitment. Ooh, love those Pentacles energies, okay. You also will have someone around you that is a knight of leaves. And so again, that's earth sign energy. So this is, this is very interesting because when this person appeared before, they might have been less mature. This is more playful. So the fox isn't too happy about being ridden by this elf, <laughs> but it shows that this person looks like the younger version of your king of pentacles, okay? Oh, beautiful movement of cups. Okay, so you have more than one offer coming in. The movement of cups can be this person. It could be simply because movement is, um, this is a knight of cups. Cups, um, knights are all about action, taking action. So movement of cups means that you're going to get an offer of love. I would say, though, that you may have one, more than one suitor coming in here. So if you're on a dating app or doing something out there, you have a number of people who are interested in you. 
the ace of swords you want the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and you'll cut anyone else out the ace of swords pretends a very honest open opportunity that's beautiful in love because it's straightforward it's clear-cut there's no ambiguity all right the two of coins that is the two of pentacles it shows that somewhere in all of this and this can show dating two people like I said you could you could be dating two people currently so it shows that the other person was too but intuitively you were very drawn to each other all right. oh beautiful the lovers card making a choice the lovers is about making a choice so you go from three potential suitors to one suitor you're going to make a choice and your person is going to require that when they come back into the relationship with you or when they enter the relationship with you they're going to want to have a long-term period of time in which they get to know you very well and they want a very serious commitment with you okay the ace of cups this could be new love or a renewed love, a new beginning in love with someone from the past. Take, oh my gosh. Okay, the golden egg is the anahata. It is the heart-centered area of the chakras. It's the spiritual, it's the unheard bell is the best way I can say it. It's the unheard message. It means that you should meditate. It shows that you should go within. You should be grounded. That your person, that the two of you will be very spiritual together. Look at this. Look at this beautiful High Priestess card. Look at that. You will be unique. This will not be traditional spirituality. But my feeling is, is that as a reader, whenever I see people who have a spiritual connection, those are the relationships that really are able to stand and withstand the, the test of time. So there we go. Okay, so the, <laughs> I'm envious of anyone who chose deck one. That is a winning and beautiful reading. All right. Deck number two, the IBT cup. Okay, so we're going to take this this way. Beautiful energy. Look at that. It's a very playful. Somebody's playing under the water. That's a six of cups energy in the Rider Waite deck. That is a beautiful little boy handing a little girl flowers. Is a depiction in the Rider Waite. This is oftentimes a soulmate connection with whom you've known a long time and often indicates that you're very playful, you're very sweet. He is just having a blast there, pretending he has lobster hands, okay? So that is a card of, of coming together and seeing somebody after being apart for a long time. All right. Ooh, look at this. The Emperor card. This person is coming in. He wants to really take control. The King of Pentacles is also competing with the Emperor. So... Many of you are looking at two or three different opportunities. The way this is going to unfold is that the person that you will choose will be the person with whom wants, the one that wants a reconciliation with you. This is a temperance card. It's coming back together after some struggles in a relationship to balance everything out, to make it work. It's the alchemist. It shows that both of you are highly desirable to the other sex, the opposite sex. It shows, but you only have eyes for each other. Look at all of these little cups are being offered to both of you, but you do not, you're not interested in anyone else. You have your eyes on the, the uh, emperor. You have your eyes on, you know, the king of pentacles, whichever one you prefer. Oh, I love this reading. This is beautiful. All right, the next cup is the Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. So it can be new love or it can be renewed, a renewal of an old love. 
look at this queen of swords that's air sign energy and so that means that typically typically this is libra and but it can be gemini it can be aquarius energy and that means that you're really looking for balance you'll be very discriminating in who you choose so this represents you i believe whoever picked the reading this is uh, an, a very feminine energy that knows what she wants. She's very clear. She wasn't always treated well in the past, and she is not going to put up with anything less than being loved fully and loved beautifully and gently. It looks as though for, whom, for those of whom have chosen deck number two, we see victory, and this is a card that can indicate that there will be an engagement, engagement ring and a formal engagement, and a wedding. So it looks as though this is very geared. I love this. Okay, well, I like 2020. Wheel of Fortune, I call this the hop on and hop off bus of good and bad luck, and it is in your favor. It shows that this is a wonderful time in your life. It shows that the overall energy of the two of you um, is very gentle, very loving, very nurturing, very kind, very sweet. So this is really gorgeous. It shows two people who've gone through some difficulties and some challenges and have emerged. You're at a fork in the road. You have to make a choice. There's only one path, you can't be two places at once, but look at the options, they're beautiful. Look at that. Look at that beautiful road sign. Look at the beautiful bright light glowing over there. So you're going to either choose to remain confused if you don't make a decision, or you're going to make a decision and you're going to find yourself with an emperor who would really, really like to be, uh, to create a committed relationship and renew love with you. So you have to choose among men or women, whatever resonates with you. You have to make a choice. All right. So there we go. That is deck number two. So that's, that's fun. I've never done the pick a card readings. I, you know, they're not, uh, they're not very difficult to do because obviously um, it's a simple setup. Okay, so let's see here. What do we have? This is the exotic box from Amsterdam. All right. And the overall energy and the reading coming in is flexible. Okay, remain flexible. Being flexible will give you the greatest opportunities for deck number three. Uh, it shows that... Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a quick start. Deck number three, you guys are really ready to make a decision and a commitment. You're, but you're remaining flexible, so let's see what the other choices are. Ah, uh, Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love or new love. Soulmate love. Divine love. Oh, wow. Ten of Coins. That is a marriage card. That means that your person's intentions are to marry you to make a full choice and a full commitment. The Ace of Wands, very passionate, a new beginning with passion. Look at that, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, that's incredible. Oh, this is so fun. I like to work from different decks, shuffle them up together. All right. <laughs> the High Priestess, the deck is telling you that you need to use your intuition and remain flexible to get what you want. Look at that. I mean, that's a beautiful reading. All right. Ah, the Hierophant. In this particular reading, I would say that both of you are very traditional. And even though this is a very, you know, you're very flexible, you're very open-minded, but you want a traditional marriage, relationship, family, and that looks like it is the intention of your person coming in. It also looks like there may be a child already in the relationship. Uh, the innocence of pentacles is usually, it can either be one of two things. It can be a, a small offer at the beginning, but it also shows that it could be a child from one of you, you or your partner coming in. The Heart of Cups, this is going to be a relationship of deep love. 
Ah, uh, look at this, the Magician card, one of my favorite characters. I am a Gemini, this is Gemini energy. It means that you can, you have manifested this new beginning. Your good deeds, your good thoughts, your good efforts to live the right life, to do the right things, to be patient, to be flexible, to use your intuition. There you go, there's your success. And the bear energy really speaks about heavy transformation. The bear energy says that you and your partner have gone through a lot of different transformations. For some of you, that could mean being newly single. It could be, you know, it could be going through a spiritual metamorphosis, which is typically the meaning. But the bear card says that the journey ahead is not easy on every day but it's a necessary journey to get to your final destination, that that is going to be part of the equation, but it looks really beautiful. So that is the energy for deck number three. I almost want to hold my breath. This is, all my readings this week have been, for the most part, really sweet. All of them have been very definitive, though. My weekly love readings, it's very clear cut. At the end of each reading, it's been yes or no this relationship is in or out uh, with great clarity and the relationships that have ended in the weekly love readings are one in which the person coming to the reading has made the decision so it's a really beautiful time right now it's uh, we have a lot of piscean energy very gentle water energy going on right now with a really nice grounded earth energy all right deck number four the flower what do we see here for the overall energy Message in a bottle. Well, fancy that. Message in a bottle. What could that message be? That is a very huge bottle. Look at the pelican. That's an enormous message. All right. The intention of the person coming in is to begin something brand new with you. A new journey, a new adventure, something exciting. They're in a big hurry, too. Look at that. They are really bolting in. All right. Eight of Cups. This may have been somebody that left you behind earlier. And the reason they would have left you behind is because of a child or an obligation uh, that was very important to them. It shows the, oh, the High Priestess card. I love it. The High Priestess card says, intuitively you knew that the person loved you and was trying to do the right thing. Lover's card, wow. Okay. Gemini energy, you make a choice. Your person makes a choice with you. A choice to move forward with this new beginning. It shows that this person could be a Virgo. Both of you have been in separation and been quiet. You have not been talking. Oh, here we go. Decision has been made. So your person's intentions are to come towards you and to make the choice to come towards you for a new beginning. And the Queen of Pentacles wanting to make you a wife, a mother, a person who is very grounded, very down to earth, very nurturing, very sweet. This energy is beautiful. But that is, that's a wife, okay? This person may not have been married before, and you may have been married with a child. There may have been some a little bit of time to pull back and think about what it's like to be a father. Um, look at equal give and take. Is that not incredible? I love this. Look at the roses. This person, your person wants equal give and take. It has to be steady, even energy. The Son of Wands also, once again, this could be a child in the mix of the relationship. And this, this is a very clever, funny child. Look at, it's like, I see you, I spy you. This is a very sweet card. All right. And the fish energy, it's water sign energy. And it says, you know, fishes don't ever stop swimming, right? They're gliding, they're always making action there. It's very Piscean. Very Piscean energy, use your intuition. And message in a bottle, how fitting is that? Wow, okay, well, all four decks have really beautiful readings. I think if I were to choose, I might, I personally want this reading, but that's me. Everybody's at a different place in the journey. 
So there you go, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for like, sh uh, liking and sharing and subscribing and making comments. Thumbs up. Anything that you can contribute to supporting the channel. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone. This is fun. Let me know if you like it. Bye-bye.